Welcome to another sketchbook tour. This one's going to be another life drawing sketchbook. There is like normal sketchbook stuff in here as well, but a lot of it is going to be like this. So yeah, let's get right into it. Also, I have my mic back. These I don't have like a lot of commentary on. Um, some of them I write like how long it took me at, or how long it was timed in the uh, top corner. So this one was 15 minutes. If you incorporate the chair, it can actually really help you with referencing things for scale. So sometimes you got to do it. This one is with a Tombow brush pen. I like to use the smaller ones with a little bit more sturdiness and they're just incredible. Some regular sketchbook content, Piper and Meadow. And I don't, I don't think that's a character, it's just a person. Back to life drawing again. Sometimes it takes you a bit to get into the groove. This was one of those days, probably. Again, I don't really have much to say for these ones. I'm not like doing anything that's pushing myself too hard because um, when I'm just like doing gestures, I tend to gravitate towards like doing the the outside lines like this really bold and then just sort of like fixing stuff afterwards if I have to. Um, this one I'm trying to skip some lines to show lighting. Okay, things were not going well with this one, but the gun is not bad. This is like a curled position with like arms and legs crossing over each other, which is super tricky. This one was lined by my teacher, and um, I think he made her legs longer than they actually were, but um, with the sketch that I did, I actually only went to here, so he kind of had to improvise.
This is actually just me doing like two examples of um, ways to do a commission board for people who want to like be freelance commissioned artists. This is with charcoal. These are probably like 30 seconds, if not like 15 or something. And then these are one lines. I also drew my friend's dog. These are more sustained, 15 minutes. And uh, so here I'm drawing like the skeleton and making the shapes around it and like shadow shapes and stuff. And there's also props. And honestly, I don't use a lot of like sight measuring. I just sort of go with like the feel of the pose because um, that's just like how this teacher prefers it. Um, and I did well in the class. So, you know, like just kind of lean into whatever your prof wants you to do. <laughs> and they turned out great, you know, like I learned a lot from his style. And a lot of them I'm actually kind of just trying to steal from his style a little bit. Although the one he did in my sketchbook is a little She's questionable. <laughs> like, why did he give her giraffe legs? That's what I want to know. So these are some animations that we were doing. These are three frame animations. I was having a lot of problems trying to like figure out how to draw like this person and like all this stuff really fast so I decided to just draw like her as like a silhouette first for this one which is like the first one because I was going like this direction and it helped me a lot honestly sometimes you just gotta like switch up your approach this one I think she was like falling down so it's like this this and then the third frame is like that but yeah I was sitting behind her for this class so like a lot of these are just like the back view of some action but I think she turned around for a couple these ones I had to fill in a fourth frame with a uh, my imagination so there's like a missing point in the action that I have to draw this one she's like reaching for a weapon and then oh my god the page gets stuck swings around and then the final frame I drew
and these are from a class where we were supposed to be just drawing details so the models were posing for us like and we would just pick a body part and draw it more detailed I think that's an elbow <laughs> Some of these it's kind of hard to tell what it is because like it becomes really abstract like um this one was supposed to be somebody's elbow coming towards me and then like they're also twisting around so yeah that was hard to do i'm pretty proud of this back one I'm thankful for muscular people for life drawing classes sometimes because it's very helpful. These legs are not bad, but I feel like a, a lot of this is just like mistakes that I'm trying to hide. Trade secrets. I think that's a knee, I'm going to say. This was a shading technique I had to do for class. And then this is another one. It's like basically hatching. You can use like different intensities, but all the lines are going in the exact same direction. And like, um, it's supposed to signify like motion. Like if somebody's coming at you and all of like the lines are horizontal, it's gonna make them look like they're moving and stuff. some gestures so this is more animation again this time I'm going like this side to here so it's like he's got a tennis racket and then he like follows through Oh, also, like, they told us to do sound effects, so I did a sound effect. Sorry about the lighting, by the way, but honestly, I'm trying to go for a cozy vibe, so if you can't see anything, just remember it's the aesthetic. This one was like him rowing. These are like the ones where you're supposed to draw something for your imagination, but I didn't do it for all of them. Look at this little guy. That's quite the guy right there. When, the second that you give them a face, they're a guy. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that guy. I'm not going to lie. Some of the anatomy is cool, though. Oh, um, here's some stuff I had to line, but it's honestly, like, not very good. Like, this one, I went a little too dark on her face. Uh, the pencil work was by my prof. And then also this one he did, I actually don't mind so much. But it was, like, a really blurry print, so I think it helped me just, like, kind of do my own thing. And then this one, I inked myself for my own sketch. There was a little bit of a catastrophe, as you can see. This one I pretended like it was part of the drawing, but that was actually also an ink blot, like or ink drop or whatever. These are supposed to be completely from your imagination for this class, but you know, now that I've passed the class, I can honestly tell you, I did take pictures of myself and look at them. So it was from my imagination from what I saw like five minutes before, but like, you know, the girl's gotta get by. That was his sketch, so I didn't do that. This is for a project. Basically, it's like guy comes up to lady and grabs her from behind. She creates an ice dagger and then stabs him in the head and all the ice like explodes from his 
brain and, and his head explodes. And those are the two characters. And then a bunch of pingus. More gestures. so much to get through guys we're almost there though this was like two people interacting with each other it was pretty cool there's a guy I'm very happy with how this drawing turned out this is a new character his name is Garth be on the lookout for Garth art soon horses are hard to draw Lots of gestures, some permanent marker artwork. I'm also rewatching Steven Universe right now. I used to be obsessed with Steven Universe. Some of the first art I ever put out on the internet was Steven Universe art. So shout out to And then these are some faces I did for school. These are like some people I know, <laughs> my family. And then there's like some pen art. That's it though. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for more art of these two because these are like brand new characters that I'm just sort of like incorporating. They're side characters, but like before these were like um, there was only one other type of alien from that species, so I wanted to have, like, more than just one. Like, Honey was the only centaur character I kind of had, like, written out before I added Garth, so I wanted to have, like, some variety. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the sketchbook, though. Bye-bye! <laughs>